Hi, this is a little sneak tease into my upcoming product to go along with my top priorities line of products, all on necklines. Let me show you some of the things I figured out. This is one on braided necklines, taking fabric and braiding it. Then there's this wonderful new shearing tape from Clover. Look what you can do quick and easy with this tape that fuses on. There's one, here's another. Fun. Then how about elastic trims? There's all kind of stretchy trims, so I put this little neckline on this top. And here's some flat ruffle fabric with some elastic trim on. On this one I also did some stenciling. Then of course you can just ruffle a sheer fabric, but look at the great floral area that I have on this one. That'll be in a newer product upcoming yet, probably in early March about tears and flowers and flounces. Then you probably all were taught how to make this little shell trim when you first got your sewing machine, but you probably have never used it, so I'm teaching you that. I like it best out of a wo woven bias, but you can also do it out of a knit. Here's an idea that I saw on a top at the J. Jill store, taking bias strips and putting them around a neckline. Whoops, there's the front. This one happened to be a sports shirt that belonged to my late brother. I cut it apart and added this stretchy trim. How about taking a piece of fabric, folding it in half, not pressing it and gathering the edges together to make a narrow gathered tube. Then I had fun with paint sticks on the front of this tee with the lace on the back. I call this one the Chico Twist. See how that fabric kind of twists there for the neckline? Took a little bit of thinking to figure it out, but I've got it waiting for you in the new Neckline's Top Priorities booklet. Everything I figured out, I had to do more than once to get it perfected. Then, elastic thread in the bobbin. Here I was playing, but I didn't like this one. I took an old dress and redid it, but I didn't like how this wasn't centered. So then, of course, I had to do it again out of some scraps from another dress, and you can see what a nice textural neckline that creates. There's a lot of experimentation and clues to using elastic thread in the bobbin on your sewing machine, and I've got it all figured out for you. Then I call this one the Tilt and Twist, because this is a top that I made from a Vogue pattern from Marcy Tilton, and I was just really intrigued with the way she twisted a tube. That one is probably the hardest one and the one I spent the most time on. Look at all these garments that I had to create in order to get this technique perfected so that I could give you really good directions. But they're there, they're there written, and they're there in the talking format, or they will be. So then after the necklines is going to come cardigans or twin sets. So here's the cardigan jacket that went with the top I just showed you. I figured out how to create fullness with elastic thread. Here's another great trim on this cardigan jacket using the elastic thread in the bottom to texturize. I'm playing with flounces, circles, hidden front button closings, simple binding with a fabric other than a knit, how about taking darts and tucks and sewing them on the outside instead of the inside? This is the new Decolorant, which, which removes dye and deposits color. And then, wow, what you can do with circles. Look how much fun you can have with circles cut apart and sewn on straight. A little more fun with stenciling and what I call pixie dust. Some more flounces, stenciling, and more. It's all waiting for you in the Top Priorities products, so be sure to keep track of how I'm developing everything on my blog and sign up for my newsletter.